It's somewhere around 1am and I just can't sleep. I've dragged myself out of bed and I'm going for a cruise around Silver Run Forest. I wonder how many people are out and about at this time. <sighs> Dear me. What I need is a bit of night cruising music. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? It's a very quiet night. I'd just like to purchase these, please. Not many people about in Silver Run Forest. I couldn't sleep, so I just came out for a drive. Can I get you anything else? 
We have a very special offer on our blue cake, just for nighttime customers. It's a very special cake, made in our own kitchens. Can I interest you in a slice? Ooh, yes please. Looks very tasty. That will be $5.95 for your drink and 10 for the cake. 10 for the cake? Remember it is a very special cake, only for our special nighttime drivers. Thank you, sir. Please call again anytime after midnight. Ooh, that cake was nice. Oh dear. Um, where's the car? There it is. Oh dear. Oh, oh no, no, hold on. I'm, I'm not in England now, in America. Wrong side of the car. Shh. Mustn't wake the locals up. Hang on. Where's my keys? Uh, yep. No, no, no. Though the house keys. Hang on a sec. Ooh, dear, dear, dear. My tummy feels a little bit uh, upside down. Ooh, right. Uh, let's get myself off home. Oh, I tell you what. Hmm. I, uh, oh, do you know what? Hang on a sec, I've got no lights on. Where's the switch? There we go. No one can see where they're going without the lights on. Oh, I tell you what. Listen to that engine. I wonder how fast this Jeep can go. I'm going to give it a go, you know. Pedal to the metal and all that. <laughs> Thank you.
This is the Elm Street Police Department. Pull over and stop your car. Good evening, sir. Do you know why I pulled you over? No, officer. I was just driving around. I couldn't sleep. Well, you were driving 80 miles per hour in a 40 zone. That's twice the speed limit. Oh, really? I didn't notice. I was listening to some soothing music to help me relax. What kind of music were you listening to? Heavy metal. Heavy metal? That's not very soothing, sir. Well, it is for me. It drowns out the voices in my head. The voices in your head? Yeah, you know, the ones that tell me to do bad things. Like what? Like speeding, for example. Sir, are you on any medication? No, officer. I don't believe in drugs. They're bad for you. I see. Well, sir, I'm afraid I have to write you a speeding ticket. It's going to be $200 and four points on your license. Oh, come on, officer. Can't you let me off with a warning? I'm the new guy in town. I pay my taxes. I recycle. I donate to charity. Which charity do you donate to, sir? The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Speeders. That's not a real charity, sir. Well, it should be. Speeders are people too, you know. We have feelings, we have dreams, we have needs. And what are your needs, sir? To go fast, officer. To go fast and feel alive. Well, sir, you can go fast and feel alive on a racetrack, not on a public road where you endanger yourself and others. But racetracks are boring, officer. They're all the same. Straight lines and curves, no surprises, no excitement. Surprises and excitement are not what you want when you're driving, sir. You want safety and predictability. Safety and predictability are overrated, officer. They're dull and boring. They make you sleepy. And that's why you couldn't sleep tonight, sir? Because your life is too dull and boring? Exactly, officer. You understand me. No, sir, I don't understand you at all. You need help, sir. Professional help. No, officer. I don't need help. I need speed. Well, sir... You're not going to get any speed from me tonight. You're going to get this ticket and a stern warning to slow down and obey the law. Okay, officer. Thank you for your advice. Have a good night. You too. I really don't remember a great deal about last night. I know my teeth feel like sandpaper and my tongue is numb. A visit down to the town for a strong coffee is in order later today. I've checked Fred's water and food, that's all fine. He's taking me for a walk to clear my head. Okay, so I wonder who parked that there. Well, I've used up pretty much all of my money. I had uh, to pay a... Um, Mm, a ticket and yeah that cost a bit unnecessary finance the vehicle shop has also taken delivery of a timber runner Z with a crane seat there are some good paying log collecting contracts out there and I need to take them up I'm going to take on a tree transport job for Mr. Richard Miller. 
He's uh, going to pay us 10450 Transport the trees to the sawmill in the south to get paid. Be careful not to damage them, as any damage will be deducted from your pay. That's a job of transporting 19 trees to the southern, southern, southern sawmill. That's difficult to say, with teeth that feel like sandpaper. Right, we better get started then. So we're down here, near to the town, and we have to get ourselves across the map to this location here. like there's been some sort of accident. I wonder if I can give a hand. Ooh, nasty. Oh, okay. They're okay. No injuries. Looks like they've exchanged names and addresses. No need for Mr. Snorbitz to take a hand.
These trailers are really easy to tip over if they're not loaded correctly, such as this one. I'm taking each corner with extreme care. We are heading to the southern sawmill where I'll offload these logs and hopefully we'll get paid, bar any damage to the cargo. Hmm, looks like I've entered on the wrong side of the railway tracks. <laughs> 